Quick announcement before the video starts, I have finally released the first ever line of merchandise available on this channel. We have Torn Ogre merchandise to celebrate my high placements in BGC 2019, including multiple international top cuts and the top four at the Pokemon World Championship, as well as how strong this duo was for a lot of players throughout the entire VGC 2019 season. One of my favorite duos, Torn Ogre, is now available on hoodies, shirts, and this um, tank top in all different colors. So go check it out if you do want to support the channel. Link in the description down below. And currently there is a code available for 20% off any purchase if you use the code back to back through December 14th. So go check it out. Link in the description down below. Hey everyone, James Beck here and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Back to Back Battles. Today we are using the same team we've been using for the past few episodes. However, we do have some changes. So we are using Hatterene or Hatterene, however you want to pronounce it. I know it's not Hatney. <laughs> I now know. Remember, those first two episodes were actually uh, recorded quite a while ago um, compared to when this one's being recorded. We have the uh, Indie D, Torkoal, Galarian Weezing, Scrafty, and Delmise. So, we made one change, and that's the Twisted Spoon item on the Hatterene. Or, I'm just going to call it Hatterene for now. I don't, if anyone wants to correct me, if it's Hatterene, or maybe it's something completely different. But, yeah, I'm going to call it Hatterene for now. But we did change it to the Babir Berry because Duralondon? No. Duraludon. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure. That's how it looks. But Duraludon was a huge threat in the last episode. If you haven't checked that episode, highly recommend go check it out. But that Pokemon was just such a big threat. I kind of needed the Babir Berry on this Pokemon. So we are going to be uh, trying this new adjustment out and seeing how it goes. We got Indie D. We got Torkoal. We got Galarian Weezing. We got Scrafty and Delmai. So. Hoping that Delmise and Scrafty can come in a little bit more because they haven't really done too, too much for us in the last couple of videos. We got to bring out the Delmise, but the game was basically over. And I don't think we really brought Scrafty much at all, except maybe games where it just couldn't do anything because like the game was over at that point as well. So yeah, uh, the question of today for the comments down below, be sure to answer in the comment section down below is... What do you think of the new VGC 2020 rule set? So if you don't know the new VGC 2020 rule set... It, was announced with Dynamax and uh, Gigamax, or is it Gigantamax? It's one of the two. Uh, is now legal, and they're going to be releasing new uh, Giganta forms. Well, they're going to be uh, legalizing new ones every couple of months. So let's see what my opponent's got. Okay, we do have a Durant and that Steel Pokemon. So good thing I put the Babir Berry on this Pokemon. So. Uh, my opponent's actually really weak to Torkoal, which is kind of ironic, so I think I am going to go to Torkoal and... Uh, let's see, I think the... Hatterene is probably really good as a lead here. Try to bait something out. Mm, I'm just trying to think of what the technically the best play is. I'm going to lead... Uh, yeah, I'm going to lead this because I could either get Trick Room Up or just do a lot of damage overall. Uh, Scrafty in the back, I think. Or the Intimidate. Yeah, I like Scrafty. And I think I'm going to go Delmise because Delmise does pretty well against most of my opponent's Pokemon other than the Arcanine, I think. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Not exactly too sure about this matchup because my opponent has some strange combinations. Uh, Whimsicott, uh, Dracovish is pretty common uh, together, but then you got Durant, which I'm not sure what's supposed to do. I know it gets Hustle and stuff, but like otherwise I'm not really too sure. Against uh, Hatterene and the Detorkel. So get the Drought up. A Dynamax is probably coming out. If this maybe you guys Trick Room, it'll be interesting here. Um, let me think. Does my opponent have a reason to run Trick Room? Probably not. So I'm guessing it's not Trick Room. Um, I could go Scrafty here in Trick Room. If I predict my opponent to just go for the Dynamax with Mimikyu this time. 
Yeah, I don't think that's like a bad play at all. And I think I will just go for the uh, attempted trick room here. I'm also thinking maybe my opponent uh, Dynamaxes the uh, Duraludon and goes for the uh, Dragon into the Torkoal, the Max Dragon. So I don't want to lose Torkoal. Torkoal is my best way to handle my opponent's team. And we'll see what my opponent does. It could be Taunt Mimikyu. There are like a bunch of options. This not, does not look like a positive matchup here. I'm just going to say that. Uh, we are going to see a Dynamax here. It is going to be, I'm guessing, is it the Herludon? No, it is the Mimikyu. Okay, so that's Max Ghost. And hopefully my opponent didn't double up the Hatteren Hatterene. So let's see how this is going to go. It's going to be the Max Phantasma. It shouldn't KO. Yeah, because Intimidate. And we might even live a Flash Cannon. Thanks to our Babiri Bear. Let's see. It's gonna be the uh, Snarl. Okay, that's perfectly fine. I'll definitely take that, okay. Uh, Scrafty takes a critical hit, not a big deal. Snarl usually indicates it should be Assault Vest on the Duraludon, so I could close combat it for a lot of damage here, uh, which is pretty solid, and I do get Trick Room up. I do wanna break the Disguise on Mimikyu as well, so this is looking pretty good, cause uh, one second, I gotta abuse these turns of Trick Room, but Mimikyu's not a Pokemon that usually carries Protect anymore. Uh, like Sword Stance, Play Rough, Shadow Claw, and then Shadow Sneak usually. But yeah, this is looking like a pretty good time to just get close combat into the uh, Duraludon and go for a Dazzling Gleam and get as much chip as I can. So, I will go for that play. And not much on my opponent really wants to take that. We do get a Dazzling Gleam off. That did a lot to the Duraludon. That was a critical hit, but... I think close combat double up would just knock it out anyway. Uh, we break the disguise on Mimikyu, which is gonna proc one eighth of its health. Um, yeah, of its normal health, not the Dynamax health. Close combat will come out, knock out the Duraludon, so Duraludon is no longer a threat. And let's see what the Mimikyu is gonna go for. I am minus two defense and one, minus one special defense on my Scrafty. Uh, it is gonna be the Starfall here, okay? Gonna target down my Scrafty, which is fine. So Scrafty goes down, which isn't too big of a deal. It summons the Missy Terrain, which I am completely okay with. I don't have to worry about uh, paralysis or anything. Uh, it's not like we had terrain on the field anyway. So Scrafty will go down. And I will bring out the Torkoal, I think. I could bring out the Delmize, but I think Torkoal is overall safer. Let's see what my opponent's gonna bring out. We will go Torkoal here against the Arcanine, I think. Yeah, okay. I wonder if doubling the Arcanine is the play, because Earth Power into Psychic, maybe even minus one could knock out, depending on the set. It looks like it, if it's Whimsicott, and since we saw it's no Intimidate, it's probably the just, it is the Justified ability, it looks like. Um, I think it's just better to go for the uh, double up into the Arcanine and play the end game for my. Uh, Delmize. We're going to see Extreme Speed come out. It actually does knock out Hat Hatterene, so I wasn't sure if it would. Okay, but that's fine. I'm going to be able to get an Earth Power off into the uh, Arcanine slot. Do a good amount of damage. That's a pretty decent amount. The Max Ghost once again. It is minus one. Torkoal does have good defense too. That did nothing actually. I'll take that. Yeah. Definitely appreciate that damage. Um... And we can go Delmize here, and I think we just get to go for a Earth Power and an Anchor Shot because Mimikyu's Disguise is no longer going to be a factor, so I can just knock it out. Also, the Dynamax form has worn out, and that's perfect here because now I'm going to be able to go for an Earth Power into the uh, Arcanine slot, and um, should I double it up? I don't think I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the anchor shot into Mimikyu and just pick up the knockout. I could actually just Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw was probably better. Yeah, Shadow Claw was probably better than Mimikyu. Although I feel like it'd be more likely to hold a Ghost Resist Berry if it does have a berry than a Steel Berry. We're gonna see Arcanine Protect, which is a fair play. Okay. And Shadow Sneak. Okay. That's gonna do a good amount. Yep. Earth Power going to come out into the Arcanine's Protect. We are going to be able to get the Anchor Shot off into the Mimikyu. So Mimikyu will go down. I really love that animation for Anchor Shot too, by the way. I really do. As we do see the Mimikyu go down here. 
And we'll see what my opponent's last Pokemon is. Trick Room hasn't expired yet. We have one more turn, which is great. And it's going to be the... Um, okay, it's going to be the fish. Which means I should be able to get an Earth Power into the Arcanine slot. And... I'm trying to figure out what the best move is here. I'm guessing it would be the Max Steel, actually. To increase my defenses. And I kind of like that play. Yeah, I like that play a lot. Because one, I'm going to get the boost for my defense with my Delmise. Which means I should be able to handle the uh, Draco Fish very well. Especially if it's holding one of the common items like the Choice Scarf or the Choice Band. So, it would probably have to lock itself into the... Uh, Fisher's friend, so that's my strategy here. So I'm gonna try to increase my defenses right now, especially if this Dracovish carries protect, which is a safe play, I think, for me overall. Uh, how can I get to double, which is really frustrating, actually? Um, man, why did they increase double protect back to 50? I think they, they did increase the double protect chance. I think it is now 50% again. Uh, compared to the 30% and it's just been a big factor in a lot of games I played We get the boost And should be the Fisher's Ren into Torkoal Yep Luckily not doing too much, but the sun is over. Yeah um, Twisted Dimensions return to normal too Trying to think what the best play is here. I think it's just to max Phantasma the Arcanine slot. Since I know it won't be protecting, it'll be going for a Flare Blitz. And I'm guessing that the Dracovish is a Bandit set or a Scarf set. It's one of the two. Uh, goes for the Fisher's Friend and the Torkoal because it can't allow me to Earth Power. Here comes a Flare Blitz into my Delmise, which takes it really well, actually, because of the defense boost that I had. So, is it a berry set? Nope, I'm guessing... Well, it's not a Salt Vest. I wonder what item it is. Gonna be able to knock out the Arcanine with the Max Phantasma, and then next turn, I should be able to knock out the uh, Dracovish with the uh, Power Whip. Or it is Max Grass. So, yeah, this is looking pretty good of a situation now. We are able to come through, it looks like. Uh, thankfully that max deal I think was just overall really helpful because I was worried about the flare blitz and luckily since uh, my opponent didn't get a um, Luckily since the Sun expired at the perfect timing even though my Torkoal was weakened uh, I was able to get a boost and basically with the Dynamax at the right time I was able to have Delmize put in some work this Delmize is putting in some work Finally finally. I'm very happy like Scrafty was able to put in work and Delmice was able to put in work. That is what we call a successful episode, people. As this should knock out. Yep. Nice. Awesome. So we're able to get the KO onto the Dracovish. And we're able to pick up the first win of today's episode. So very, very nice overall for the first episode of today's bad. <laughs> No, the first battle of today's episode. But I'm just excited. We got these Delmizer. They put it in work. It got the KO on Mimikyu, got the KO on Arcanine, and got the KO on Dracovish. Delmizer picked up three KOs, and the Scrafty was able to pick up the other. Uh, we got Nuggets. Uh, we can check our opponent's team, which is Focus Sash Whimsicott. Yep, standard. Uh, oh, wait. It wasn't Salt Vest. It was actually a 50% berry. Huh. Well, then again, if it was a Soul Vest, the Dazzle and Gleam did way too much, even with the critical hit. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, just interesting to see Snarl in that last slot. Usually we see Thunderbolt uh, for uh, Corviknight. Okay. Arcanine. Keyberry. Huh. Interesting. Flare Blitz, Player of Exchange Speed Protect. The Mimikyu was beat up as well. What? Oh, I didn't know this thing got beat up. Pixie play too. Player of Shadow Sneak beat up Trick Room. Okay, that's probably why the Max Phantasma didn't do as much damage as I was thinking it would to my Torkoal or my uh, Hatterene or Hatterene. Because, yeah, that Max Phantasma was actually super weak. So, yeah, I'm actually surprised my opponent didn't double up that slot. It's actually crazy that I did that much too, even through the Intimidate. Um, and then we got Bandit? No, Life Orb, a Guillotine. Oh my lord. And then, wait, this thing had Protect too. Wait, oh, it's Choice Scarf Protect. Huh. Okay. 
All right, we'll play one more and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> uh, that was an interesting uh, team to kick things off today, but yeah. Otherwise, uh, they also released uh, the Gigamax or Gigantamax Snorlax. Let me know your opinions on that down below in the description down below. I know that a lot of people are actually complaining about the Snorlax. I don't even know what it does yet because I haven't really kept up with uh, any of the G-Max forms. Um, all right, so we got a team here with the Dracopult, yes, yes, okay. Uh, Togekiss, Arcanine, Corviknight, uh, Rillaboom, and Rotom Wash. Interesting to see Rillaboom. I believe it does get access to Fake Out, U-Turn, and some other cool items, uh, cool moves. I actually used it in game, it was my starter. And then Drum Beating is actually a really cool move. Or is it Drum Beat? I just wanted it too. Um, Heart Trick is looking really good here. Um, yeah, I really like Heart Trick Room. I'm able to go ahead or Green plus NDD plus Yeah, I had to lead this because uh, the Dragapult could be really scary. Otherwise, I'm gonna go Torkoal here for sure because it's my best Corviknight answer. And then what's the last one I want? It's either Rotom Wash or the Weezing. Um... I mean the Weezing or Delmize. I'm kind of liking Weezing more as it can probably handle the Dragapult better and take attacks a lot better than the Delmize can from my opponent. So yeah, I'm going to go with those four. Uh, Scrafty and Delmize had their fun. Now it's time to go back to the main mode of this team for this uh, more conventional team and more interesting take on it. Reelaboom plus... I'm interested to see if we'll see Reelaboom. I'm very doubtful though we don't have any like big grass weaknesses so i don't think we're gonna see that pokemon i'm guessing we're gonna see a combination of, like rotom wash togekiss to dragapult and um something else we're actually gonna see the coronite lead here with my the togekiss against my hatterene or hatterene however you want to pronounce it someone tell me how this is actually pronounced Probably someone did. I actually read a bunch of comments, but I think I kept getting mixed results. <laughs> so I'm going to trick him up and I'm going to follow me. Very safe, simple play. There's nothing my opponent can really do to capitalize here. And let's see. No max here from my opponent. Uh, we're going to see Iron Head come out into the NDD slot and a Dazzling Gleam, which is fine. Okay. And trick him will go up. And then next turn, I could probably just switch into Torkoal, which is what I'm going to do. And Protect. Yep. Because next turn, I could either Psychic plus uh, Eruption or Helping Hand Heat Wave slash Eruption. Depending on what I think the situation calls for, we will bring up the Torkoal. It might be dangerous to switch on in on a potential air slash, but I think it's all right. We have life do as well as a move that we have on our Hatterene, so we can always use that if necessary. Follow me from the Togekiss, actually, huh? I may be worried about Max Fire, which is definitely a potential play. Iron Head going to come out into the Torkoal slot, which is okay. And yeah, this is looking like a really good position just to go for an eruption here. And I think helping hand eruption is more powerful than the psychic plus eruption. Plus, it will allow me to basically, if there is a switch out from the core of night, it just does so much damage uh, to even the Rotom wash in the back. So we are going to see that core of retreat here. Probably that Rotom or Arcanine. Okay, that's fair too. Uh, this is still going to do a lot. This should do at least 50% to the Arcanine and probably at least 80 to the Togekiss, I'm assuming. So, Helping Hand. I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed by the animation, by the clapping sounds. Eruption going to come out into the Togekiss. Yeah, about the damage I was expecting. Thunder Wave coming out. I know it doesn't get Tailwind, but uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun, aren't we? I'm going to go for Helping Hand Eruption again. Or should I just Psychic here? Nah, it could proc Barry. I think Helping Hand Eruption is the best play uh, possible. It's going to get real annoying if there's Paralysis, though. Immediately. But if I can get one or two Eruptions off, I should be good. So let's see what my opponent's going to do. I do have to watch out for the Dragapult in the back, too. That's definitely a scary Pokemon I, I will have to deal with. But basically, we haven't taken much damage at all, and yeah, we're just dishing out a lot of damage currently, so this isn't a bad position at all. 
a helping hand coming out from the Togekiss and the NDD. So let's see. We do get the eruption off. So if we do get the same roll, should knock out the Arcanine. Uh, which it does, it looks like. So we are able to knock out the Togekiss as well as the uh, Arcanine. Yep. Okay. So I wasn't counting that wrong. All right. Sweet. So we're able to get rid of those. And then Coronite is in the back. And probably, I'm assuming, the Rotom. If it is that case, I'm going to Eruption plus Follow Me. Because I'm not risking uh, me getting paralyzed uh, this time. Because I need Torkoal to beat down at the... Uh, Corviknight. So I'm going to go for Eruption here once again and follow me this time. Yep. I think Rotom's forced to Dynamax potentially and the Corviknight, if it has Protect, it goes for Protect. If it does not Protect, it just um, might have to take this Eruption. But we are going to see a Dynamax form. Let's see who it is. If it's Corviknight, it's probably better for me. It is going to be that Corviknight actually. Okay. So Corviknight gonna Dynamax here. Let's see if it's like Max Guard or if it's actually gonna go on the offense here. What song is this? Oh, this is how. It is Max Guard, okay. So let's see. Uh, if Toga gets paralyzed now, I don't mind it. I just need to hit the Corviknight one turn. All right, we are able to get Eruption off, which is nice. Ooh, solid damage on Rotom. If I get a Helping Hand Eruption off, I just win the game next turn. NDD also survives, which is nice. Twitch's Dimensions return to normal. And we can go for a Heat Wave here. And follow me. Let me just make sure what I have in the back is. It's the Weezing. I can also Dynamax here and go for the uh, Max Flare, which might be better. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. I think it's better. Because I'll live a Thunderbolt or Hydro Pump plus the Max Stream. I'm going to Helping Hand here. And go for the Max Flare. If I can get rid of that, um, if I can just get rid of Corviknight, I just win, I think. So let's see. Let's see if Torka will get paralyzed or not. Because we've been pretty lucky so far. So let's see if it's going to be the case this time. Helping hand. So we'll definitely knock out this core Uh Max Steel. Probably into the... Yep, NDD. So I knew NDD was probably going down anyway. Actually, that core is probably a lot faster than I thought. Also, I... Oh no, why is the audio clipping? I have no clue what's going on. Why is the audio doing this? Oh no, the video's lagging a lot. Light screen gonna go up. Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, and I got paralyzed and the sun fades. Oh no. Everything that's going wrong is going wrong. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure if that's all the clipping. We're gonna go Hatter Renee here. That was just so bad. That, that literally was the worst turn possible. Uh, my opponent got a free light screen up. There wasn't much I could do. Uh, and it's still clipping even though I restarted. So we'll go for the max flare here. We'll trick him up. And yeah, we should live hydro pump at least, which is the good part. We should live airstream, I think, in the hydro pump. But we'll see here. I'm going to go for the max steel. I'm hoping I survive this. Because if I don't, this is actually going to be problemsome. Uh, yeah, we do survive thanks to, <sighs> we do survive. We're going to be able to get a trick room up. It looks like, unless it was a double up, which it looks like it might be. Yep. So Hatterene does go down. Hope the video is not too bad. I don't get why it's giving me problems now. It never gave me problems like this before. Max Flare, even through Light Screen. But it does bring up the Sun, which is actually pretty huge. Because that means I'll be able to survive attacks now. And the Corviknight's Dynamax is over, which is huge. So we get to go Weezing here. Oh, come on. What is going on right now? Uh, we get to go Weezing here. I 
feel like it's very possible my opponent will just go on the offense here, but I feel like it's very possible just to stall out the Dynamax with your last turn. So I'm actually going to go for a substitute here with Weezing and go for a Max Flare because I think it's a fine play. But we're going to see Iron Head going to go out into Weezing, which means Thunderbolt might be doubling up, which is actually kind of bad. Uh, yep, it's Thunderbolt. Please, Weezing, survive this. It doesn't. Oh, I think we just loosened a Rotom now. This, this video, this video on audio is just like really distracting me right now too. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> I cannot catch a break. We do not got the Corviknight. I don't even get why the video is crumbling on like this. I do apologize, but there's not really much I can do right now. And... Go for the Heat Wave, I guess. I don't get why the audio is clipping so badly, or is it just me? Uh, Thunderbolt gonna go off into the uh, Torkoal, does a lot, and I get paralyzed. Yep, that is game, unfortunately. So, yeah, unfortunately, we got we got lucky with the uh, Thunder Waves earlier, but uh, we got pretty unlucky towards the end. I kind of made a choke with the uh, Weezing, but I was worried about my opponent double protecting, stalling out my Dynamax the last turn, and then gonna be able to double up the Weezing, which is why I wanted to go for the Substitute right there. So, yeah, it also probably didn't help that the audio was clipping. I hope it really doesn't show in the video, but it probably does. I know it's happened to me on stream before. It's even now doing it, even though there's nothing on the field. Guess I'm gonna have to restart my computer or something, but. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 20 back to back battles. We go 1 1. Not exactly the best loss, um, but I probably could have capitalized better. Maybe I should just follow me the potential Thunder Wave. Uh, so I didn't have to risk my Torkoal being a uh, lose con at the end. Uh, maybe I could have, like. Yeah, there were definitely a few moments. This audio is super tilting me, man. But I uh, hope everyone enjoyed. If you did like it, please leave a like down below to support. You can uh, leave a comment down below, answer the comment question of the day. I share this video with your friends. Uh, be sure to check out my new Tornogre merch down below in the description. And thank you to everyone who supported me on Twitch and Patreon. If you want to go support me there and go an extra mile to support me, you can go check those out. But otherwise, yeah, this audio is just being super dumb. So catch you all around next time. And until we battle again, see you later. <laughs>